Good, how's it going? <laughs> We're good. Well, it's finally game week. Yeah. Um, is it is this offense ready to, to face another opponent? And, and how, how prepared do you feel like you are at this point to, to face another team? You know, I, I, I definitely feel like they're hungry to face somebody else. Um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna take advantage of every rep we can get still the next couple of days to get you know, mostly situational things tightened down. I feel I feel good about where we are with um, you know, just the the core of the offense and and the, and the base of the offense. We've got a a lot of reps logged through camp, and and there's still a few things that we're looking to tighten down. But it's mostly some things that are a little bit game plan or situation oriented that, that we still need to work out some details on. But you know, luckily we still have a couple of days. But yeah, I, I like where the kids are at at this point. Um, you know, I wouldn't say we're necessarily behind or ahead of schedule, but I know they're hungry to go out and play somebody. When you look at Colorado State's defense, you gave up some points last year. Just what do you, what do you see um, on film, and just what are you expecting to see from them on Saturday? Uh, you know, I, I see a very, very capable unit that played really, really well at times. Um, you know, there, there were times when you look at them and they and they maybe didn't look like they were they were as good or playing or playing as well. Okay, but you dig, you dig into that film, and, and they've got they've got good players on that defense. They've got a sound scheme. I think they're coached very very well, and and they're they're good they're good at what they do. They're, they're a disciplined unit that has shown that they can make plays, and so we've got to we've got to execute at a very high level to get done what we need to. Is there anyone comparable in the Pac-12 that they say, oh, they kind of look like this, this team, or, or is it is it not? There isn't one in, in the league that you can compare them um, to. You know, I've probably not offhand that I can okay. compare them to necessarily, but. You know, they, they give you some multiple looks on defense, both on the front end, the back end. Um, you know, they'll they'll be aggressive at times, and, and so again, we we've, we've got to capitalize on some of those situations, and we've got to be ready for some multiple looks. And that, that's one of the challenges going in. You know, there's there's you go off last year's film, there may be some unknowns based on what they want to be and what they want to do with the with the personnel that they've got this year. And so there's always a filling out process a little bit early in early in the game, and see if you can get dialed into t some tendencies and what they what they're trying to do. What's it like to have your group of running backs? Um, it, it's a, a comforting feeling, you know. That that's a that that's a group that we can get a rotation going, and and you feel good about a number of guys that could be in there. You know, there there's been other years where you know you try to be very selective with your calls, not necessarily knowing which back could be in the rotation. If that back, you know, if you're asking him to protect and he's not a very good protector, you're asking him to run outside zone and he's an inside zone downhill guy you know and so you, you, um, it's always picking and choosing schemes that match each guy I think we've got a back a, back, a bunch of backs that have a full skill set and we're very capable as every down backs and so you don't really bat an eye when any of them are in there to do whatever we ask them to do on our offense. You've been asked a lot about Jake and his, his first start obviously this weekend but take me back to when you guys first discovered him in the junior college ranks who was the first person on your staff to be like hey we should take a look at this guy and maybe what what stuck out to you initially about him back in it last fall um you know he was in he was in coach hall's area mm -hmm. um you know, you know coach hall had gone to to check out some games i can't remember if it was a bye week or, or, mm -hmm. or early in a week when we when we traveled down there or whatever but uh um but in, Co in coach hall's area you know we, we we started to look at film on him you know after that was after that was brought to the table i watched him and then you know kind of goes through the ranks from there where, where coach a kind of validates um you know what, what we're seeing or, or signs off per se and and uh you know, so we, we we thought enough about him from a physical standpoint. From a, you know, we were kind of at a point in our season last year, and then going through year one, where you know we were we were figuring out really where we needed to get a lot better, yeah. and and so it was finding the best guy out there that that we felt fit those needs to to become better in the pass game, and, and you know, and so felt like he gave us the best opportunity to do that. But you know, the get guys that we could go get and were available, and and uh, you know, so. He was somewhere where he wanted to be, fortunately, and now we'll see where he's at. He's kind of living out his dream right now, and hopefully it's a good one. Yeah. How do you keep him from getting too amped up about Saturday? Um, you know, he's probably going to have to manage that on his own. You know, but with with, with those guys, they just, they just got to remember that it's that it's all about them. It's not about what the what the opponent does. It's not about the environment. You know, just just go in there. They've been in that situation before, um, and you know, he's he's preparing to handle the moment. I think he'll do a good job. Of it. How can Thank you manage coach. sort of the whole thing?